Welcome one, welcome all to the University of Fort Lauderdale. I am your host, Monty Perez, a.k.a. the Sports Whisperer. What a contest we have tonight. We are pumped up for this one. It is senior night. Senior night here at the Scott Galvin Community Center in North Miami. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles playing Florida National. Florida National has won five in a row. They are on fire. And I love their uniforms. Their uniforms are black, red, and green, kind of Christmas-like colors if you celebrate the holidays like I do. So should be a great one. University of Fort Lauderdale, their home white. Senior night here. 
Number 20, Ralph Florence with the ball. Benaz Woodard, a thousand point scorer. Number one, who is starting. A turnover there, right off the bat. University of Fort Lauderdale causes a turnover. Christian Dijon, number two. Vugar, we call him Vooch, number five. Benez Woodard, number one. Mark Lancaster, number 20. And number 23, Davion Brandon in the home white uniform. Christian on the wing. Downloaded Devion Brandon. Mark wants the ball back. Devion with the skip pass. Vooch, nice drive to the middle. Behind, over the head, back pass to Mark. Just short right there. Devion battling for it. Benez gets the rebound. Little double pump. Battle underneath. Jump ball. Like the aggressiveness of our Eagles right off the bat, getting turnovers, getting offensive rebounds. Again, Benez Woodard, number one, our 1,000-point scorer. Should be in the running for conference player of the year. Nice pass by Boots. The mark for the layup to make it a 2-0 to zero contest. Mark Lancaster, one of our seniors tonight, along with Christian Jajan, number two, New Jersey Strong. Mark with the nice... Layup and the nice pass by Vooch, number five. Then number 13 right here. Paris looking to get this team going. They've won five in a row. Five in a row. Ball to the corner. Nice drive there. By, a block by Devion Brandon. Vanessa dribbling up over to the corner. Christian is done. Pulls it back out. Smart play by Christian there. Didn't have numbers. Pulled the ball back out. Up top to Vooch. Benev's looking to get something going here. Looking inside, nothing there. Back to Vooch. Nice shot fake. Behind the back pass to Christian for three. Buckets. Buckets. It's raining here in North Miami. University of Fort Lauderdale. Up 5-0 to zero to start the game. Really like the way we put uh, Vooch with a silly foul there. Silly foul by Vooch. Reach. He knows it. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles up 5-0. to zero. Spoke with the coaches of Florida National before the game. Seemed like some really good guys. Uh, glad to see their team playing well. Again, they've won five in a row. Full court press here by our Eagles. Having trouble getting full time out. Wow. I like the way we started this game already. 5-0. to zero. Senior night. Got some faculty and staff here from the University of Fort Lauderdale here at the Scott Calvin Community Center. Thanks so much for joining us live on YouTube. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the University of Fort Lauderdale YouTube channel. We have over 1,000 1, um, subscribers to the YouTube channel. Very happy about that. Uh, we started a while ago, and our goal was to get 1,000, and we definitely accomplished that. So thank you so much for all the support. Really appreciate it. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles up 5-0 to zero to start this game. Again, University of Fort Lauderdale in the home white uniforms. And the, and Florida National, It's it, I wish you could see it closely. It's really Christmas colors. Red, green, and black. Number zero is Javon DeBrito. Very aggressive point guard. Looks to score first. Nice steal there. Devion had the steal, but just threw it up. Lost control there. To the corner. Number 20. No good. Nice rebound. Offensive rebound there. Back up to 11. Montezuma. Top cross court. That's a funky looking jump shot. Little herky jerky motion. Number 11 follows it up. They've got a cold right here to start the game. Florida National has. Benez Woodard, if you're just joining us, he's our 1,000 point scorer. Down low to Devion. Devion turns and faces. Devion goes baseline. No man's land there. Baseline drive. Baseline drift. Try to get Mark to drift down. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles up 5 0. We got a raucous crowd here in North Miami. Nice shot fake by Mark. Double pump. No good. Devion with the rebound. Devion's got to go up with that. Devion go with it again. And gets the bounce. Devin is hero. Our cameraman, Justice, is all pumped up. Laughing as he does the camera. It's a nice block by Devion. On Ralph Florian, number 20. And there's Woodard going coast to coast. Kick it over to Christian. Nice shot, Vic. 
you know, this is this happens a lot with our team because we don't practice here a lot. We see at least once a game, once a game, our guys step out of bounds in the corner. Court awareness, if we practice on there, would not be an issue. Wholesale substitutions right here. They got six guys on the court here. Now we have five. We got CB, Chris Berry. We got Faison, number 11. Deontay Premerton, number zero, is a double-double machine. And Carl Bigaroo, number 24. Benaz goes on and blocks the shot. Oh, they call a jump or a foul. They called a foul there. I think the ref anticipated that. Good hang time by Benez Woodard, who's brought some feistiness to the start of this game. Again, let me get the substitutions for you here. As number three, Kubalon shoots the free throws. Pretty decent free throw shooter, shooting about 72%. Looks at the bench, has almost to say, yeah, you knew I was going to make that. 7-1 to one here, early lead. Chris Barry, number 10. Number 11, Faison. DeAndre Pemberton, who's a double-double machine, gets the rebound there. And you have Carl, number 24, who sang the national anthem for us today before the start. Number 24 for University of Fort Lauderdale, Carl. And Benez Woodard right there, our 1,000-point scorer. Skip pass. Gets there. Faison over to Pemberton. Pemberton pulls it out. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Faison. Driving to the basket in no man's land there. Jump ball. Nice defense by number 13, Ray Parrish. It'll be Lauder National Ball. 7-1, University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles up here. 16-23 left to go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, the possible turnover there. Sloppy pass there by DeBrito. He doesn't make those. He's a very good player. But got a little careless there and almost paid for it. Paris handling the ball here. High screen. Paris driving to the basket. Cross court skip. Corner three. Short. University of Fort. If that's on, let's see who they call it on. Okay, they called it on Pemberton. That's his first. Nice aggressiveness by both teams. Not really getting uh, quality shots. Everything's been contested other than Christian Dijon, New Jersey Strong's corner three. Every shot has been Really contested. Both teams going after it. I like the feistiness and aggressiveness on both teams. Number 13, Daniel Parrish played 47 minutes in their overtime victory. They won 87-84 over Voorhees on February 8th. What a game that must have been. 87-84. University of Fort Lauderdale making some noise here. Makes the first. Very good free throw shooter. Shoots about 80% from the free throw line. Does a little bit of everything. Will score, will rebound. Just a solid all-around player. Misses the second one. Pemberton with the rebound. 1-2-2 two, two press here. Cross-court pass. Benez, skip back to Faison. Pemberton, oh, he had Chris Berry. Decided not to swing it to him. And then driving to the baseline gets cut off. Very aggressive defense early on by Florida National. Barry, call the travel. Seven to two here. Fifteen thirty-seven left to play here at the Scott Calvin Community Center. We got a good one here. Seven to two. I know you might say, Monty, seven to two. How is this a good game? Because both teams are going after it defensively. Both teams are. Oh, there's a turnover right there. I just said both teams are going after it defensively. CP driving to the basket. Gets the ball poked out of bounds. It'll be University of Fort Lauderdale basketball. Christian DeJean. Oh. Wholesale substitutions right here. Christian DeJean, Davion Brandon, Vooch, Derek White, number four, and Mark Lantash are back in. If you haven't watched this play, this is what Coach Anderson does. He subs in guys constantly, five in, five out. Try to wear you down, try to confuse. Quarter to Mark Lancaster. Mark with a nice pass to Devion. In and out. Devion battling down low. Ooh. Devion Brandon had a nice catch. Layup. The ball went in and out. Got the offensive rebound. Just couldn't finish. Number four, Derek White in the game. Very good passer. Gets other teammates involved. Christian with nice defense here. Nice defense on number zero. Debrito. He stepped out, too. Another turnover there by Ralph Laurent. 
lot going on for a 7-2 game right now. 5-14 left to play. So glad to be joining us. Thank you so much for tuning in to the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles YouTube channel. White looking down low. Christian with a nice... Thought Christian was going to lay the back screen, but they're in the zone, so the defender did not move. Christian looking to go. Christian looking to drive. Got hit. Nice job by Christian Dijon. Driving to the basket here. I like the way the defense on both teams are switching up with the press, with the zone, with the man. Christian Dijon from New Jersey, one of our seniors here. If you see the wall, Justice, show them the wall. Christian Dijon is right there, the poster for him on senior night. There it is. Shooting over 80% from the free throw line. Hit a nice three to start the game. A little short on that one. 7-2. 14-48 left to play here in the first half. Again, Florida National won five in a row. Starting to play great basketball. Ooh, a little violation there. It doesn't matter. Christian makes the free throw to make it an 8-2 game. Harris has the ball here, number 13. Pulling out of play. Green away. To Debrito. Back to Parrish. Parrish looking to go. Lefty. Nice move. Tony got fouled there. Ref didn't call it. Scramble here. Stolen. Mark Lane cancel with the rebound. We got numbers. Three on two. Mark with the Euro step. Mark and the finish. 10 to 2, University of Fort Lauderdale. Like the way our two seniors have come out to play here. Mark Lancaster and Christian Dijon. Take a 10-2 lead. Got a nice handle. This number 13, Parrish. Lefty. I always like lefty players. Nabrito for three. Hits it. Nice drive and kick. Parrish the assist there to make it a 10-5 game. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. Christian Dijon got cut off on the baseline there. Back up to Vooch. Christian fires from downtown, short. Debbie on Brandon, another rebound. Vooch had the shot, fakes it, drives to the basket. Loses control, dives on the floor, gets it to Debbie on. Debbie on kicks it back out to White. Over to Mark, nine seconds on the shot clock. Mark, a little mid range game. No good. Debbie on with another offensive rebound. Boy, he's been active to start this game. I thought Mark had followed that shot, could have gotten the rebound there. Always remember when you shoot from the corners, follow your shot. More times than not, you'll get the offensive rebound. But Devion Brandon playing very well. Three, two, you got to shoot it. Christian Dijon had to shoot it. And he hits it at the buzzer. He hits it at the buzzer with the shot clock running down to make it a 13-5 lead. And Christian's fired up tonight. You know, he got some uh, acupuncture for his wrist. But I don't think it's bothering him at all right now. And you see him wearing the wrist on his right hand. Good defense. Look at this. Drive the ball, Parrish, back up to Debrito with a tough shot and finish. That's a nice shot by Debrito. 13-7, 12-28, nonstop action here. The Scott Gavin Community Center. White has Devion not looking in. Devion has position. They give him the ball. Kicks it back to Vooch. Vooch with the nice soft kiss off the glass. Luckily, it goes off Florida. National will be University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles ball. 13-7 to 7 with 12-12 left to play. Crowd still coming in. See Coach Billy over there. How about the JV baseball team? Won two games today in a doubleheader. And we also had our University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles baseball team improve to 10-1. and 10-1 and on the year. They'll be back in action tomorrow. I will be calling that game tomorrow at 4 p.m. Make sure to check us out on the YouTube channel. Right here, it's 13 to 7. Eagles ahead in their home white uniform. Christian Dijon up top to Benez. Benez lost the handle there. Unforced turnover. Gooch tries to get the steal. Debrito just hit a shot. Looking to go again. Nice pull up. He's got a nice mid range game. Makes it a 13 9 game. This Florida national team is not going to go away. They play aggressive. They are feisty. Number 32, Jonathan Mills in at center now. 
Gabriel Casey with the elbow jumps and just comes up short. Nice bounce pass and the finish there. Nice bounce pass and the finish to Gary Adams coming off the bench, contributing. I'll tell you, I like the way Paris is distributing the ball right now. Has about three or four assists getting his teammates involved to cut this lead to 13 to 11. See if Chris Berry can get going, number 10. Been averaging about 15 a game. Playing well as a starter and off the bench. Roots looking to penetrate. Benez over to Christian. Christian looking to fire again. Short. Nice rebound there by number 23, Ronald Fernandez, as he comes off the bench as well. Adams looking to get it again. Adam, nice. Oh, I thought Gabriel Casey had the clean block there on Adams, who just scored previously. Coming off the bench and contributing. Gary Adams, number two at the line. 13 to 11. I expect this to be a highly contested match throughout the entire game. Makes the first one to cut it to one. 13 to 12. Been an exciting game so far. Game of runs. We started this game 7-2. to two, And now they've made a nice little run here. Second free throw good. 10.43 left to play. Non-stop action here on senior night at the Scott Calvin Community Center. See if Chris Berry can get going here. Nice little pull up there off balance. Chris didn't set his feet there. Kind of leaned in there. That was a tough shot. The lefty that's tough. It's always hard to guard lefties. Ralph Daniel Powers has played a nice game so far. Scoring, assists. Again, he played 47 minutes along with Tabrito, who played 49, number zero, in their double overtime win. Faison, oh, he got hit. Vooch comes in for Faison. 15-13. University of Fort Lauderdale trailing by two here. Big shout out to Jack and Justice. Justice, our cameraman. Defensive back, one of the captains of the football team. Nice play by Vooch. Vooch is always active. Always active. I'm trying to get down to 200 pounds. Justice is trying to gain and get up to 200 pounds. We've both been working out, but totally different. Substitutions coming in. Mark Lancaster. Devion Brandon, University of Fort Lauderdale in their home white uniforms. Thanks so much for joining us here. 15-13. UFTL down two. That's a charge. Oh, the block. Good attempt by Benez. Thought he might have been moving there. I thought it was a charge. That'll bring up Parrish, number 13. Ken, mention his name a lot. Seventeen, thirteen, Down four. Could make it a two-possession game. With two free throws here. Make it a six-point lead. First one's good. One, two, two press here. Full court press. One, two, two press. I don't know. I don't know how how the official did not call the push there. Using his hand to push Vooch. Our point guard, Vooch said it's his fault. You cannot go backwards against the press. You gotta catch it and go. Gotta be aggressive against the press. I told you this Florida national team. Is playing with a lot of confidence. They won five in a row, coming off a huge win in overtime for Voorhees. They play tough, they scrap, and they make you play your game. And that's what we like to do. We like to play that way, too. Nice block there by Brandon. What a reverse up and under by Ronald Fernandez, number 23, contributing off the bench to make it a seven-point lead. 2013, University of Fort Lauderdale's offense has been stagnant. The last couple of minutes. See if one of our guys can really get going here. Nice cut. Finesse. Three-point shot. No good. Davion gets the ball. 
Ooh, ooh, Mr. Official. Davion is right. It went off black uniform. 20 to 13. 904 left. Paris getting a rare break on the bench for this hectic pace. They have to take one. The Brito, he's got a really good mid-range game. Misses that one there. Devion Brandon with the rebound. Over to Mark in the corner. Nice pass, Devion. It's a block. That is a block. Delayed call. The ref kind of had to. When he fell, the ref didn't make a call, but then Davion fell over him. Montezuma. Matthias Montezuma. Love that name. Number 11 coming in and number three in the game. Coming in the game. Cubalon. Devion, first one, no good. Devion's giving him some positive minutes here with some offensive rebounds, some defensive rebounds, had a block. Hey, the coaching staff is very active for uh, Florida National, as well as our. Never stop talking, always, always coaching. Like to see that. Our coaches do the exact same thing. We're down seven here. Hit like a low offensively. Almost a steal. Quarter three. In and out. Number three with a powerful rebound. Oh, with a great rebound there. Just ripped it out of the hands. Cutting to the basket. Looch over there. Oh, I thought he traveled. Charge. Charge. Nice job by Mark. Mark Lancaster takes the charge. Here, University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles student athletes cleaning up the floor, helping out the official. Tay, hey, it's twenty to thirteen, and we have not gotten easy baskets here the last five or six minutes. See what Coach Anderson can rustle up here. You look at this Florida national team, and one thing you see—they're big, they're long. Every position, they're big and long. One of the reasons why they've won five in a row. See if Benazza, our thousand point score, can get something going here. I was waiting for the official to call the foul there. They play so aggressive, they keep pushing you. Laurent with the foul comes out of the game. Debrito, number zero, back in. They're very aggressive on the ball. They try to push you. They try to use their physicality. We got to be strong with the ball. Dijon, nice to, nice pass. Nice pass. Fabinez Woodard to Devion Brandon, who I just mentioned, giving positive minutes. Taking a 20-15 lead. Nice ball movement there by our Eagles. 20-15, Christian Dijon applying pressure here. Gary Adams looking to drive. Oh, he thought he traveled. Kick ball. Good call there by Mr. Official. Thought Gary Adams traveled. Shouldn't be too long till they bring in Parrish. And here he comes. Replaces Adams. Parrish is kind of the straw that uh, serves the drink for this Florida national team. Again, in their, in their green, red, and black uniform. Looks like Christmas. Substitution here, Chris Berry for Benez Woodard. Just had a nice assist to Devion Brandon to cut this lead to five. 20 to 15 crowds wanting to erupt here. We need to go on a little bit of a run. Oh, it might be a five-second count. Almost a five-second count there on the inbounds play. Boots with the solid pressure switch off. Harris looking to drive. Harris loses control. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Kind of scrambling here. They got to get a shot off. Tough shot. Good defense. Good de shot clock violation. Good defense there by CB to get the block to get the block. And I think Chris Barry said something too. Like not in my house. Not in my house. 
We want to see Barry get going here offensively. One of our best offensive weapons. Get some ball movement here. Hit some jump shots. We're only down five. Corner to mark. Shot fake. Christian. Still Christian was going to pull the trigger there. Over to Barry. To Devion. Devion dribbles. Back to Christian. Christian for three. Got it. Christian Dijon is on fire. Fire, 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 fire. 2018 University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. Thanks to our senior Christian Dijon keeping us in this game. Deontay Premerton coming in at the break, number zero. He is a double-double machine. Dijon playing good defense. He's going to go left. Got to force him right. It's good. Nice move. And he throws up the right. He almost got it in. Stolen. Rebound. And Christian steals it back. I'll tell you, this, both teams are fighting. Kind of like this. It's like a football match up here. Lancaster driving. Back up to Christian. Booch. Looking down low. Devion's played a lot of minutes here. CB, that's his shot. Nice job by Devion to keep it alive. CB will hit that more times than not. Nice defense there by CB. Mark gets the steal. Two on one here. Mark driving to the bench. A little crossover. And the kiss. And the kiss. Get some Mark Lancaster. And Kristen Dijon are two seniors. 20 to 20. University of Fort Lauderdale on a 7-0 run. We got the DJ playing in his senior night. We're having a good time. We'll be back after this. We are back live here at the Scott Galvin Community Center. 20 to 20, University of Fort Lauderdale on the run. Big shout out to my friend Andrea and her son Jonathan who are watching the game. Although Jonathan's a Washington Wizards fan, so I'm sure this has got to be better than that. Back to the action here. Debrito for three. Buckets. Jovan Debrito for the nice three. He's got a nice mid-range game. Smooth jumper. Kind of reminds me of Jordan Poole, the way he plays. Pemberton looking to go. Pemberton with a nice stop, pop. Oh, in and out. Thought Pemberton was definitely getting the N1 there. Got hit in the nose. Trying to shake it off. Thankfully, there's no blood. I guess you have to draw blood to get a foul call here by these officials. Out of control there. The rebound by number three. No good. Pemberton gets the rebound. This is what he does. He's a double-double machine. Still trying to shake off the elbow. He got to the nose. Nice lob. Just a second late. Good defense. He had Benez Woodard. It was a good look by Boots. Just a second late. My friend Bruce said we're watching Christmas in February on the court. With their Christmas uniforms, and Mark Lancaster drains it from three to tie it up. This is an exciting game here at 23 23. Paris looking to go. Probably set a high screen for him here. Good defense. Oh, a little over aggressive by CB. A little over aggressive. You know, the officials are letting them play for the most part. 
So that's what I don't understand, a foul like that. They called it on Florida National one time, too, when Benez Woodard was dribbling. But if you're going to let him play, let him play. Don't pick your spots to be hard and be soft. Nice drive, nice defense. I'll tell you, they're two guys who really look to go. Our number double zero, Jovan Debrito, and we've talked about Ray Daniel Parrish, the lefty. They both look to score. They both can create their own shot. They have mid-range games. So watch that. But, oh, number 23 was wide open, and they just missed him. Would have been a wide open layup. And now is a turnover by Florida National. DeAndre Pemberton trying to shake off that elbow he got in the nose. 4.06 left to play here. 23-23. Boots calling out of play here. Mark. Here we go. Finesse. Corner. Christian is on. Short. Christian has been on fire. Number 32 with the rebound. Jonathan Mills. Corner. Three. Tell you, he can play. Jovan Debrito is a scorer. He doesn't need much either. Nice jump shot. Nice mid-range game. Pemberton, set shot from the corner. No good. Number 23, Ronald Fernandez with the rebound. Had him trapped there. I don't think I have to trap. They have a trap here. Nice way to escape. That's tough right there. Put his shoulder down. Use his size and strength to push off Booch. 28-23. It's been a game of runs. Been a game of runs here. Here at the Scott Calvin Community Center. Starting to get a packed house. Fans still coming in. I think fans heard the ruckus outside, and they're just walking in. What we like to see. Benez in a little bit of trouble there. Mark had the corner shot. 11 seconds left. Benez short there. We're rushing our shots a little bit on offense. We're not creating good space, and I think we're rushing our shots here. 28-23, bit of defensive battle. They use that high screen well for Parrish. He runs the point, does a good job, calls out a play here. Ten seconds left. Over in the corner. Nice defense by Christian DeJohn to cut off the baseline. Yonde Pemberton dies on the floor. Four seconds left on the shot clock as number two, Gary Adams, will come in for Florida National. Trying to ask the coaches who I come in for. Check out his sneakers on Gary Adams. I like those. My, my Oregon duck colors. Not green or yellow, but the bright pink when Oregon does that in October. When the Oregon ducks go to black and pink. Adams looking to go here. At the buzzer, no good. Christian is down with the rebound. Harris had to shoot that one. Shot clock running down. 28-23, University of Fort Lauderdale trailing by five. Trying to get some spacing here. This zone defense reminds me of the Syracuse Orangemen back in the day. They're so long, and so they don't really have to move a lot because they're so long, they cover so much ground. See if we get some shot fakes on Alvin. Chase on with a deep three, hits it. 28-26. That's what you need against his own ball movement, shot fakes, and hit the open shots when you get them. Gary Adams looking to draw a foul. Nice, nice hands. Nice hands there. Once the coach is right, you want to move your feet. You don't want to rely on that deflection because if you get beat, you don't get it. It's a layup. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. Plenty of times. They got him trapped in the corner. Over to the, again for the 13, number, for the three, no good. Harris there settling for the three. I thought, it, thought he could have drove the ball. Mark, nice shot fake. Pull up jumper. Should be buckets. Should be buckets. Mark Lancaster playing very well here on senior night. 28-28. Game of runs. This is an exciting move. Christian DeJohn just got leveled by number 32. It looks like a linebacker. Number 32, Jonathan Mills. About 6'6", 250. Looking to take out some players. It was a it was a legal screen. Good job by him. Benez, very upset. Thought he got fouled. And now Christian fouls 
Parrish. Benez Woodard is very upset. Thought he got fouled there. No call. I know when Christian got that screen, our cameraman Justice was looking to take number 32, run out there and tackle him. The aggressive uh, nature of this team. It was a legal screen. He's just a huge, huge individual. Justice, it, our cameraman is also captain of the football team. Defensive back. Likes the contact. First free throw good to make it a 29-28 game. Harris and DeBrito have carried Florida National. They're two guards. These two teams are so similar. The University of Fort Lauderdale and Florida National. Play a lot of guys, super aggressive, make it almost impossible for you to get an easy shot. It's like we're playing a mirror of ourselves. And look at this zone. Look how long they are. Again, they don't really have to move because they're so long. Jim Beheim used to run this for the Syracuse Orange men in the 80s, 90s, and 2000. If you remember, Carmelo Anthony won a national title with Syracuse using this zone. Benez, looking to go here. Six seconds on the shot clock. Nice stutter step. Benez got hit. No foul call there. Ten seconds left. Nine seconds left. Benez. Got the, wow, what, what a weird dribble there by Gary Adams, the way he kept it alive. Throws up a pair. No good. No good. 30 to 28. University of Fort Lauderdale trailing by two. It's been a crazy game. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back in about 15 minutes. Again, 30 to 28 at the half. <laughs> liberal arts or ministry? Jumpstart your career today by enrolling at University of Fort Lauderdale, one of South Florida's premier Christian institutes of learning. Whether on campus or through online classes, University of Fort Lauderdale has everything to equip and prepare you for the career you are seeking. We offer associates, bachelors, and master's degrees in various fields of study through our colleges of business leadership, religious studies, and liberal arts. From Christian counseling to Christian education, Education, from business administration to criminal justice, from broadcasting and theatrical production to information technology, it's all here. And it's waiting for you. Prepare to meet your future head on. Get started on your career path the right way. Financial aid is available. University of Fort Lauderdale, a place where change happens. For more information, visit us at uftl.ed. In 2006, we founded Yeti Coolers with a simple mission. Build the cooler we use every day if it existed. One that was built for the serious outdoor enthusiasts rather than for mass discount retailers. One that could take the abuse we knew we'd put it through, out in the field and on the water. One that simply wouldn't break. We decided early on that production innovation would come from necessity and first-hand experience, not from market research and data analysis. Today, Yeti products perform when it matters most. Whether that be an excursion into the remote Alaskan wilderness, chasing redfish on the Gold Coast, or just getting together with friends in the backyard, we make gear that helps you stay out longer, travel farther, and live harder. Hashtag built for the wild.
We are back live here at the Scott Calvin Community Center with the score. 30-28, to 28, University of Fort Lauderdale. Eagles trailing by two. And as we said, as we said, Jovan Debrito for Florida National, 13 points. Number 13, Parrish, 10 points, four assists. And for your University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles, it's been the seniors, right? It's been the seniors. And thank goodness for our seniors. Christian Dijon and Mark Lancaster have 21 of the 28 points that we've scored. And I'm so happy for those guys because obviously it's senior night, but we want to see more balanced scoring from our team. Been a very physical game. Again, just saw the coach from uh, Florida National gave me the fist bump. I said, love the way you guys play. You know, it's really like a mirror image of our team. Physical, aggressive, and that's what we do, right? So it's fun to watch. As you see our University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles in the home white uniform. So glad you guys are joining us here. 30 to 28. DJ's cranking here on senior night. About 50% capacity here. As the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles get the ball to start the second half. A lot of commotion going on here. Boots dribbling down low. Trying to get more balanced scoring here. It's been Christian Dijon and Mark Lancaster as Christian drives. Layup just short. Debbie on Brandon tries to battle for it. Benez powers it up. Got fouled. Benez Woodard powers it up and gets fouled. Nice job by Benez to keep that alive. Nice job by Christian. Staying aggressive. Love to see that. As the University of Fort Lauderdale trails 30 to 28. But the good news is we have our 1,000-point score. Benez Woodard, the first eagle to score 1,000 points. First one to do it in school history. Shoots 82% from the free throw line. Gets that one. Counterman Justice. Clutch right now bringing me some water. Really appreciate you, my friend. Thank you so much. He'll take over the camera duties. I was terrible at it for the... 30 seconds that I just did it. So appreciate you, Justin. Justice. Justice Johnson, one of the captains of the football team, joining us here. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. Student athletes. Oh, okay. Vooch reached in, but again, number 13 has that push off. Just once, I want to see a call, ref. What I like about Vooch is he'll never back down. And Florida National is not backing down either. This is going down to the wire. 30 to 30 here. Cross court pass up top. Oh, I thought he had the jumper there. Gave it up. Debrito had 13 in the first half. Debbie on Brandon. Leading the team in rebounding in the first half. Debbie on going rim to rim there. Looking to get the inside. Too much congestion there. With Benez and Debbie on Benez. Back up to Mark. Nice shot fake. Over to Boots in the corner. Boots jump shot. Hits the three. And Boots has something to say about it. 33-30. One thing about these teams is I don't think either one of them will talk trash. But they're not going to back down. Both well coached. Both super aggressive. Look at Bernard Water diving on the floor. Late call there. Devion Brandon with the foul. Scramble at half court. Like to see Benez Woodard diving on the floor. Number three, Girardi Cubillon at the line. He hit the free throw in the first half and looked at his bench. Has to say, I got this. Misses that one. Number 20, Ralph Laurent saying, shooting rhythm, shooting rhythm. 33-30, University of Fort Lauderdale takes a three-point lead with Bugar Kuliev, the point guard, hitting a corner three. Makes the second one to make it a 33-31 game. Boots 
Being double teamed here. Mark Lancaster dribbling. Back over to Vooch. Nice way to break the pass. Christian driving to the best. Oh, nice steal there by number 13, Powers. Nice bounce pass for the finish and the kiss. Nice transition break there. Powers had four assists in the first half. Hits Ralph Laurent there to tie it up. Nice steal. And nice transition basket. Nice pass by Benez. Right back at you. To Devion Brandon for the kiss. Even after Valentine's Day, the kiss is in effect. Devion with the steal. Boots driving to the basket. The floater. A little too hard. Benez and Devion had the rebound. They kind of both fought for it. But Florida National now has it. Oh, number three. Oh, almost a steal. Booch gets elbowed there inadvertently. Debrito for three. Buckets. This kid could shoot. He could score. 36-35. Helter Skelter pace here to start the second. Needs to get better spacing on offense here. Look, Booch drive and kick over to Christian. Up top to Mark. Mark over to the corner. Benez. I want to see if uh, Coach Anderson may go small here to create more offense. Maybe take out Devion. Nope, he's taking out, taking out Christian Dijon. Devion down low. Bogging up the middle there. I'd like to see them go a little bit more space. Although, Devion's been playing great. And there's Chris Berry. Chris Berry comes in and drains a three. And that's how you create space, by hitting shots in the corner. CB, like to see him get going. We know he can score 20 points in a heartbeat. Driving to the basket. Kick. Down low. Back up top. You know he's going to shoot it. Debrito off. Then Debrito and Parrish had 80% of their points in the first half. Wasn't a high-scoring affair. I think the first one is 78 wins at Justice. That's my prediction. Jack, first one to 78 wins it. First one to 78 wins it. 78 points. Talking to our two cameramen here, Shaq and Justice. Man, it's been a low-scoring affair. We're shocked right here. As Carl comes in, number 24, he sang the national anthem for us. By the way, make sure to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. as the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles baseball team. Probably the best team in the country right now, and I'm not saying that as an exaggeration. 10 and 1. We are 10 and 1 on the season. Could have maybe five to six All Americans on that roster. Vanessa with a nice spin move, pulls up and muscles it in to take a 39 36 lead. Vanessa Woodard doing a great job of creating offense there. Parrish. Laurent over to the corner. Ooh, hard pass. Nice catch there. Shot fake. Number three with the drive. Tries to muscle it in, and he does. Kubalon with a nice little baby hook there to make this a one-point game. 39-38. Carl passes it up to CB. CB back out to Benes. CB lost it there. Carl diving for it. The man scramble. Should be possession arrow to Florida National. CB kind of got no man's land there. He knows it. Unforced turnover. 39-34 here at the Scott Galvin Community Center. Make sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube. And make sure to subscribe to the UFTL YouTube channel. Again, our baseball team will be acting all weekend. Got a doubleheader tomorrow at 4 and 7 p.m. And then on Saturday at 1 and 4 p.m. Against the college formerly known as Bible Baptist. Again, our University Fort Lauderdale baseball team, 10 and 1. But as Woodard comes right at us, almost went right into our cameraman, Justice. Steal by Vooch. But as Woodard made that play happen, coming into the stands. Coach Anderson going with the two bigs here with Carl and Devion. Vooch with a nice bounce pass. Carl. Corner to Vooch. Wide open, no good. Chris Barry battling for the rebound and gets it. 
Little short jumper there. Short again. Nice rebound by Paris. This kid does it all. Point guard, assist man, rebounds. He's long. He's tall. He's athletic. He's a solid all-around basketball player here for Florida National. He uses his size well, too. TB playing defense. Lucho point guard. Oh, nice attempted steal there by Benez. Over to the corner. Foul on call there, number 24. Nice shot fake by Debrito. What I like about Debrito's game is he plays at his own pace. Plays at his own pace. Doesn't rush his shot. Doesn't hurry up. Kind of like Shea Alexander for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Just plays under control, knows his game, and that's why he was the leading scorer in the first half. 39-38 here, 14-52 left to play. We are fired up from this one. Trying to drive past Mark. Mark with a great defense. Great defense. Number 11, too much dribbling, Montezuma. Too much dribbling there. Gary Adams, backup point guard, gave him quality minutes in the first half. Shot clock violation. Good defense by University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles here in the home white uniform. And, of course, the Florida Nationals with the Christmas in February with their black, red, and green. I actually really like them. I actually really like their uniform. They're different. like to see it. I'm a, part of the reason why I'm an Oregon Duck fan. Lord knows it's not because we win titles, just because they look good playing. Because the Oregon Ducks have yet to win a national title in my lifetime. Pemberton down low. Battling Pemberton. Oh, he gets hit. Late call by the official. I like to see Pemberton's aggressiveness. When he's on his game, he's 15 and 10. When he's on his game, he's 15 and 10. Pemberton for two free throws. First one's good. Talked to DeAndre before the game. Came in bright and early at the Scott Galvin Community Center. I was here at 4.15. I left last night at 9.30. Took me seven hours to get down here. That's how far it is, Justice. That's what it seems like. I was here at 4.15 as Pemberton gives us a two-point lead. And uh, he was here shooting early, getting his shots in all by himself in the gym. Gotta like that. Nice soft pass. Number 32. Jonathan Mills. Man, he can play defensive end. Size, strength. Turnover there. Don't like that turnover. Wholesale substitutions now. Gabriel Casey, number 12, coming in. Christian Dijon, New Jersey strong. Devion Brandon out. Coach Anderson going small here. Let's see what we do offensively. Let's see what we do offensively here. I like this substitution, although number 32 might be a, a hassle for us to box him out. He's so big and strong. But I like Coach Anderson trying that here. Going small, 40 to 40, 13 33 left to play. Gary Adams has given them decent minutes. And there's the man of the hour, Jovan Debrito. This gentleman can light it up. Hits the three there. Let's see if we can get some offense going with the smaller unit here. Lancaster, that should be. Oh, no, no. Mr. Fish on the outside had the call here. So right in front of him. He hasn't pulled the whistle all game. Might not be working. May have to check to see if he, if the, if he has a working uh, whistle. Because the ball was clearly off Florida National, and he didn't even blow his whistle. I don't think it's working. I think it's just for show. 43-40. Vooch with a nice defense on Adams. Gabriel Casey. Stand your ground, Gabriel. Take a charge there. Gabriel Casey cannot be backing up and reach in. Stand your ground. Let the player jump into you. Adams. Number two will shoot two free throws here. We're down three. 43-40. First one's good. 44-40. 
Coach Billy in the stands. Walking taller. Billy's like six foot. I think he's like six three right now. After going ten and one to start the season. Monster victory over Kaiser University yesterday on the road. Dijon, corner three. Princeton is gone. Really keeping the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles in it. Two point game. Number 32, Jonathan Mills trying to set the screen there. He's as big as a house. Foul called. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles now have five team fouls with 12.34 left to play. Gary Adams bringing the ball up here. 16 seconds left on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Adams driving to the basket. Adams driving. Come on. Now he blows the whistle. 10 seconds too late. Justice, am I hearing you? That was like a 10 second too late. We had the ball dribbling down the court. Wow. 45-43. You don't want to get on these officials, but some of these some of these calls are really disheartening. Adams again giving them quality minutes off the bench. And he's got the best sneakers on the court, Justice. Look at those sneakers. It's like Oregon Duck in February. Phase on number 11 in for Bugar Kuliev. 46-43, University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles trailing here by three points with 12.23 left. About half capacity here at the Scott Galvin Community Center. Nice crowd on both sides of the court. People sitting next to, a, next to us. Justice gets to hear my commentary. All the people sitting next to us. Makes the next free throw to make it a 47-43 game. Four-point game here. Officials uh, going over to the score table. I don't know what they're uh, talking about here. Don't know what appears to be the problem. I haven't had any issues with the clock at all. Been a smoothly run game for University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles athletic student-athletes working the scores table, doing a bang-up job. One, two, two press here. They like to mix up their pressure. Faison, nice to Benez. Benez catches and turns. Had Christian in the corner. Christian was ready to shoot. Gabriel Casey drives to the basket. Baseline drive, baseline drift to Mark Lancaster for the three. Mark and Christian keeping us together. 47-46, down by one. Baseline drive, baseline drip by Casey. I'll tell you, Gary Adams doesn't start, but he plays a lot of minutes. He's got a smooth handle. He's got a smooth handle. Oh, foul. Backcourt violation. Benez Woodard with the hustle and the speed. Florida National looking for a foul there, and I don't blame them. But has making stuff happen there. I agree with the full international coaches there. I th thought it might have been a foul. But these officials have been inconsistent all night. They're letting a lot of stuff go, and then they're calling tick attack fouls. Except the one official. I don't think its whistle works. Might be battery-operated, battery and the battery's no longer charged. He hasn't called a foul all night. Benaz looking to drive. Nice little close over. In the corner, phase on for three. Hits it at the buzzer. Benaz Woodard creating offense. 49-47, University of Fort Lauderdale takes a two-point lead. Driving to the basket. He's, he's really good. He's really good. He's got a herky-jerky jump shot, meaning it's not your traditional way to shoot it. But Ray Parrish is a player. 49-49. Adams with the nice steal. And the nice cross. And the nice move. 
Timeout by Coach Anderson. Not happy. Too many forced turnovers. Adams. Tell you, he's come off the bench and provided such a spark. He's got a. I just said five minutes ago. He's got a smooth handle. Just got the steal. Made the nice euro step dribble. They are leading Florida National 51 49. 10 40 left to play in the second half. You're watching the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles live on YouTube. We're back live here. Shout out to my friend Bill who sang that University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles and Florida National. He said this is like a rugby game, how physical it is. I don't think my friend Bill has ever watched a rugby game, so I don't know if that's a legit comparison. But I get what he's saying. DeAndre Perrington back in the game here, number zero, with Christian Dijon, number two, Benez one, Faison 11, and Devion Brandon. Back in down low. 51 49, trailing by two. Dijon in the corner here. They're now switched to man to man. Love the way Florida National constantly switches up their defense. Make our players think. Our coaches do the same thing as well. Dijon driving to the basket. Baseline drive, baseline drift for Burdez Woodard for three. No good. Number two with the rebound. Pass it to Christian Dijon. Nice follow up by Burdez Woodard. Nice follow there by the Nets to make it a 51-50 game. 51-51 game. Blocking foul. Now this Gary Adam. He's got a lot of got a lot of Kyle Lowry in him. Just physical. Great strength in his legs. Smooth handle. And again, another player that just plays at his own pace. One thing about this Florida national team is. You don't see them rushing shots. It's like watching our team in dark uniforms. White ball. Adams, about the only thing he's done wrong tonight, was missed that free throw. We knew this was going to be a tough game. They, uh, Florida Nash has come in one five straight. To have a lot of physical bodies. And uh, our guys... Coming off the road in South Carolina, went two and one. Benez, we're going to create. Back to Christian, up top. Plenty of time left on the shot clock. 9.45 left to play in the second half. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Benez gets his shot blocked. Was kind of in no man's land there. He thought about passing it to Christian. Then shot it. Tough defense there by Florida National. And we are in the bonus. Debrito will shoot the free throw. Hey, I just rhymed. Debrito will shoot the free throw. I didn't even mean to do that. No good. Especially if Fort Lauderdale has 18 fouls. Hey, ref, it's 8-2. to 8-2 to two team fouls. How is that possible in this physical game? They have two fouls. We have eight. doesn't make any sense. What is going on with the officiating here? 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Benez Woodard drives the ball to the basket, out of bounds. I don't like it. I don't like it, Shaq. I don't like it, Justice. Eight fouls in this physical game. How do they only have two? John Day Pemberton taking the ball out here. Vooch back in the game. The face is Faison, who had a nice three. Booch driving to the basket. Booch with a short jump shot. Fouls it up and in. Nice aggressiveness by Booch to make it a 53-51 game. Parrish 
the size and length on Parrish got to be hard to guard. Double team there. Corner. Good defense by Christian. That's a way downtown. Wow. What a shot. Man, he could play. Nice shot there by DeBrito. Jovan DeBrito. Nice shot. Led the team in scoring in the first half. Down low to Pemberton. Nice spin move. Tim one. Oh, finish that. 54-53. Down there, Pemberton will shoot two free throws here. My friend Bruce says, consider buying the ref a whistle for Christmas because they have the Christmas uniforms. <laughs> That's a good one. Good comment, Bruce. Adding to the broadcast. Appreciate everyone listening, everyone watching, people texting and emailing me during the game. It is 8.23 left. It is 54-54 as Benez Woodard comes out of the game and DeAndre Pemberton starting to heat up here. 55-54. Eagles in their home white uniforms. I'll tell you, this Gary Adams, he plays with an attitude. Loses the ball there. Corner. Tough shot. And it goes in. Tough shot there by Cubalon. Wow, that was tough. 56-55, one-point game. Chris Berry back in, looking to provide instant offense like he normally does. Pemberton with the drive, gets the ball stripped, gets the ball back. Nice pass to CB. CB, nice footwork and makes the layup. 57-56, back and forth we go here. One point game in North Miami. Gary Adams plays with such a quiet confidence and he uses his body so well. That lower body strength. Adams with the ball here. Taking it out of Parrish's hands. Adams. Christian all over him. Devion Brandon. The, I hope they're not calling it on Devion. They called it on Devion Brandon? Ouch. We literally have one official blowing away. Just spectators. They're here just to watch. Devion had a clean steal. It was right in front of us, and they call a foul. 57-56, University of Fort Lauderdale. And, and listen, I'm not saying that the calls against University of Fort Lauderdale have always been bad. But what I'm saying is, can we, can we blow the whistle both ways? In a physical game, we have nine fouls. They have three. As Gary Adams makes the first to make it a 57-57 game here, all tied up. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles staff going nuts and the stands here making some noise here on senior night. Our two seniors have played very well. Christian DeJohn and Mark Lancaster who's now on the bench. So I'm sure Mark will come back. And he made a nice crossover by Vooch. Back over to CB. Chris Berry to DeAndre Pemberton. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Pemberton drives to the basket. Baseline drive, baseline drive. Vooch fakes it. Vooch gets hit. Oh, almost gets the foul. Fifty-seven, fifty-seven, six forty-five. Justice. What is your confidence level scale of one to five? Four. I like it. I like it. Timeout call here. Hasn't been a lot of break in the action, but it is fifty-seven, fifty-seven. Mister DJ, kick it. We'll be back right after this. Thank <laughs> you. 
We are back live here at the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagle Home Basketball Arena, the Scott Gallant Community Center here in North Miami. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles men's baseball team, 10 and 1 on the year. 10 and 1 on the year. I will be doing the live broadcast there. Hopefully, we come out with another victory. Again, if you haven't seen our baseball team, it is much watch TV. We have a game at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. and then Saturday, 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. Would not be surprised if we take all four and improve our record to 14 and 1. Vugar Kuliev, the Vooch, number five on the line here. 57 57. 645 left to play. Vooch short arms that one. Chris Berry offering words of encouragement. Gonna be interesting to see what Coach Anderson does down the stretch here with substitution. 58 57, University of Fort Lauderdale up by one. Almost a five. Vooch with the steal. Vuga Kuliam. Oh, Pepperton with the foul. 16 to 57. Great defense there by Vooch. Missed the free throw, made up for it. And Pemberton doing what he does best. Creating the garbage off the glass and fouls it up and scores. Paris looking to go again, pushed off. Nothing called there. Devi on battling for the. It's CB. He's going coast to coast. He is so fast with the ball. He got fouled. CB. Russell Westbrook with the speed coast to coast. That's what I compare him to. The University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles faculty on their feet here. Chris Barry, coast to coast. Man, he's got jets. 60 to 57. Up three. 614 left to play. Misses the first. That's a rare miss for CB at the free throw line. Shooting 78% from the free throw line. See if you can make this one and put it up. Make it a two-possession game. If he makes this, we'll be up four. So even a three-point play cannot tie it unless we foul. Makes this as a two-possession game. And it is. 61-57. Here, Paris looks to go again here. Here we go here. A little shot clock issue. 27 seconds left on the shot clock. 6-11 left to play. We are up four. 61-57. University of Fort Lauderdale on their home whites. You don't want Debrito getting loose. Lobs it up, but Damian breaks it up. PB up ahead to Vooch. Vuga Kulia with the lefty layup. Off the glass. 63-57. University of Fort Lauderdale. We're rocking and rolling here at the North Miami. Scott Galvin Community Center. 63-57. We'll be right back. We are back live at the Scott Gallup Community Center, 6357. To quote Talladega Nights, I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Had a Mountain Dew at halftime. I never drink soda. And I am all hopped up on Mountain Dew right now. 63-57. Coach Billy will be proud since he's the Celsius king. See the softball players here. Cam Rawson, Katie Atkins, shortstop for the University of Fort Lauderdale. And Jacob The Rock. Talk to him at halftime about our victory over Kaiser University. Our relief pitcher. Parrish, dribbling the ball here. Holding foul on uh, Chris Barry. Ah, uh, I guess his whistle got batteries during that timeout. It's the first call he's made. And he calls a holding call away from the ball that absolutely had no effect on the play. But we'll just let that go. 63-57, 4.15 
546 left to play. Fabrizio, this guy has been everything is advertised. Coming in, I knew him and Parrish would be scorers, and they have such a smooth stroke. Love his game. Both teams very well coached. Both teams battling here. CB driving to the basket. Nice bounce pass to Davion for the finish inside. Chris Berry with a great bounce pass to Devion Brandon. Oh, there might be a turnover here. Looch looking to take the charge. Davion late foul. That's a good call. Davion was late there. Might have been better off just to let him go because he looked off balance. Ralph Laurent, number 20. 65, 59. This is the double bonus now. So what that means is once we have 10 fouls, the opposing team shoots two free throws, not one. No longer a one and one. It's the double bonus. And he makes the first one. Ralph Laurent. Devion comes out for Mark Lancaster, the senior who played a heck of a game. And Benez Woodard, our leading scorer, replaces CB. Like to see DeAndre Pemberton clean up on the glass here. Now it's playing the five spot. They missed the free throw, so it's 65 60. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles up by five here. 5.16 left to play. Boots with a nice crossover. Pushing over to Benez. Benez looking in. Nothing there. Not enough ball movement here. It's a little too stagnant. Benez got to drive the ball. He got bumped, and he makes it. Benez. It's a fortuitous bounce to put us up 67-60. Benez Woodard with a fortuitous bounce off the glass. Parrish being pressured here. Parrish, being, he went back court. Wow. Justice. Justice is just shaking his head, and rightly so. Fans in the stands cannot believe that call. 67-60. Parrish makes them pay. 67-61. Both coaches up. Going at it. Parrish makes the second one. 67-62. We got a battle here. Mark Lancaster gets double team. Nice pass to Benez Woodard over to the corner. Christian Dijon sets his feet and hits the three. New Jersey strong. New Jersey strong. Christian Dijon from my home set in New Jersey. Harris too strong. Benez with the rebound. Corrals it in. Christian saying slow it up. We are up eight here. At the Scott Cowell Community Center in North Miami, 70 to 62. Christian Dijon just hit a big three. Nice bounce pass to Mark for the layup. They got to get a timeout, and they do. 72 to 62. University of Fort Lauderdale giving their fans what they came to see. A late run here inside of six minutes. Coach Anderson. Masterful with the substitutions. We are up 10. I got to get some water. We'll be back after this. We are back live here at the Scott Galvin Community Center. It's a 10-point game. I know I'm screaming, but it's so hard. I can't even hear Justice who's sitting next to me. It is so loud here with the DJ, with the crowd, with the cheerleaders. Now, everyone just take a deep breath, and let me set the stage for you here. 72-62, 3.52 left to play. I did say first team to 78 will win it. 
Hopefully we'll score way more than that here. We're just under four minutes left to play. The big thing now is you don't want to foul. You don't want to give Florida National points and let the time not get off the clock. You don't want to foul here. They're in the double bonus, so they got two free throws. Just play solid defense. Let them run the clock down like they're doing. And that's it. And don't foul. Pemberton, almost a loose ball there. Nice cross-court skip. Pull-up jumper. Number 20, no good. Battle for the rebound. Saves it. Harris gets it. Short. Loose ball. Pemberton with the loose ball rebound. Pirates had a couple chances there. Could not make it. Let's see if we do run the clock down a little bit here since we have a 10-point lead. They're looking to pressure Vooch. Back up to Mark. Mark holds the ball smartly. 10 seconds. Got a look to go here. Nice pass to Mark down low. Shot fake. Called the travel. He did travel. Mark should have shot it there. He realized that. Good defense by Florida National. Seventy-two, sixty-two, two fifty-five left to play here. The Scott Calvin Community Center. Harris, he's going to go left. Let him shoot it. That's a smart defensive move. Let him shoot it. Again, I said first team to seventy-eight will win it. Said that about six minutes into this game. Right now, it's looking like that. We're up seventy-two, sixty-two. Benez, pull the ball out smartly. Time and score. Kicks it over to Vooch down low. Nice pass there. Oh, a little too cute there for Pemberton. Thought he should have just held that up. Driving to the basket. Stewart. Pemberton with the rebound. Pulling it out of his hands. Number 20. Ralph Land tried to pull it out of his hands, but Pemberton was too strong. Need to get a stop here. Down 10. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles. Been a battle all night long. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Down low to Pemberton. Entry pass. Nice spin. Little baby hook. And the lefty hook to make it a 74-62 victory. Lead. I'm counting the chicken before they hatch. 74-62. Even I'm getting excited. Parrish is going left. We know that. Again, Pemberton with the rebound. Two on one here. Up to Pemberton. Oh, we got five on. And one. Oh, my goodness. Benez Woodard lost control. He got a fortuitous bounce when he did the little running hook shot and went in. And now he gets another bounce. I'm telling you, that's why he's a thousand point scorer. The basket just finds its way into the net when he touches the ball. And University of Fort Lauderdale, 72, 76, 62, in full control here. This game was going back and forth, back and forth, and. We made a nice run here to go up 14 with 131 left to play. I really like the coaches, too, on Florida National. Very animated, very intense. It's like watching a mirror of, of our team, the way they play. 77-62. We are up 15. We are up 15. Okay, foul there. That, that's... That's actually not a bad foul because number 32 hasn't been to the line. Make him earn it here. It was a clear layup. Let's see if this is a good foul by Mark Lancaster here. Number 32, Jonathan Mills has the build of a football player. That was a good foul by Mark. I would not be surprised if Florida National tries to foul, be super aggressive here, and put us at the line to stop the clock. Makes one. It's still a good foul because he only made one. Still a good foul because he only made one. Pemberton. Dribbles out. Roots. Coach it. Timeout. Shot clock. Timeout. 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 Shot clock. Coach Anderson, clapping it up. Clapping it up. 
trying to motivate our student athletes. <laughs> 77-63, the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles up by 14 with 116 left to play here. 23 seconds left on the shot clock. Kind of gives a break there because we're going to pull it out. I thought they were going to trap there. They did not trap Boots. Dribbling over to Mark. Mark drives baseline. Mark goes up, rolls it in. Fouls it up. No good. Adams with the rebound, and we foul. That's what you don't want to do here because you don't want them to score with no time left. We don't want to foul here. I'm sure Coach Anson is a teaching point. Adams at the free throw line. Trying to make it a 12-point lead. Right now, we are up 14. Misses the first. Christian Dijon laughing over there. I like that. Sharing a moment with Coach Anderson, the senior. Full court pressure here. 77-64 game. 103 left to play. Boots. Over to Pembroke. Oh. Number 32 says, I know I'm in your house, but you're not going to score on my rim. Nice block there by Jonathan Mills. 21 seconds left on the shot clock. Mark pulls it out smartly. Just hold the ball. Gets double teamed. And as blitz the double team. Over to Christian. Ten seconds left. Baseline drive. Baseline drift. Mark has it. Pulls up. And hits it. 79-64. That should do it here at the Scott Calvin Community Center with 37 seconds left to play. University of Fort Lauderdale with a commanding 15-point lead. I'll tell you, Florida National was hot coming in. They played well till about the six-minute mark, and they just let this one slip away. University of Fort Lauderdale... Going to walk out of here with a solid victory at home. On senior night, Menez driving to the basket, lays it up and in, holds it up 81-64. Mills driving to the basket, loses control, no foul here. Going to shoot it from way down, man, this kid never misses. Jovan Debrito, even when it doesn't even matter. I want his game when I get older. University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles win 81-67. Highly contested matchup. The fans are going nuts here at the Scott Calvin Community Center. Again, 81-67. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the University of Fort Lauderdale YouTube channel. We will be live tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time for the University of Fort Lauderdale Eagles baseball team. They are 10-1 on the season. Should be a fun broadcast for Shaq, for Justice. Want to thank you all in the immortal words of Arnold Schwarzenegger. We'll be back.